Good day, Abiding Savior. As always, a blessing to come uh, early in the week to let you know what's going to happen on Sunday. Uh, last week, of course, I was uh, absent. We were in Bismarck, North Dakota, actually, celebrating Gloria's father's uh, 91st birthday, and that was a real joy. But one of the things that occurred when we were up there is that uh, Papa likes to watch news, and we watched a lot of news. And uh, frankly, as you know, the news is pretty sad. We are a nation uh, that is disrupted and divided, and regardless of the news source, that, that's what you see and that's what you become so acutely aware of. And it was laid upon my heart uh, to come and to share with you from Psalm 133. And Psalm 133, of course, as you read that, just a few verses, please read that. It's a psalm that really speaks to the beauty of unity. And I want to speak to that uh, this week about the necessity that we have not only as individuals but as a church, uh, that we would be united and not divided. And uh, this sermon this week, an interesting title, it's called Dancing with the Devil. And I do believe that as a nation, as we allow this uh, disunity to continue to disrupt uh, uh, everything that we do, that we are literally dancing with the devil. We want to look at how we can prevent that and how we return to that spirit of unity, that spirit of grace, and that spirit of love, and recognizing that that has to begin with us. It has to begin with the church. So look forward to seeing you this Sunday, Psalm 133, Dancing with the Devil. God bless.